Hi there, welcome back to Pretty Much Flawless. Today in this video, we're going to be looking at a problem you might run into when using two transistors in series. Let's get into it. So here's the circuit. So, this is a uh, AND gate, that's the project I was working on. And as you can see, when you close this switch and this switch, you both tra these transistors will be able to turn on, power will go to the load, such as the LED in my case, and goes to ground. So then, uh, same thing, so you turn on this switch right here, this, since this transistor is not open, it can't get to the load, so that does work. You turn on this transistor, and that's where we start getting problems. So as you can see, this resistor right here limits the current to go to the base. So the base has a little bit of current, it drains through the emitter here, and then goes to the load and to the ground. So since it's an LED, something that takes just a little bit of current to light up, it would light up dimly. So that was a bit of a problem with my logic gates, because that could cause a problem with the indefinite state. So, like, for example, we don't know if this is, this would act a bit more like a lopsided OR gate, where this one turns on, so that'd be very confusing for our logic. So, to s solve this problem, what I did was, so, this is the uh, fixed example of the circuit here. So, we have to load in between the two transistors in series, and what happens is, so you turn on this, turn on this transistor right here, the uh, positive can come through here, it can go through the load, but since this transistor is not on, then it can't get to ground. Same thing, you turn this switch on, it can come through the base, through the emitter, to ground, but the lo load won't turn on because this transistor isn't on. So when you turn both the transistors on, it can flow through the positive, through the load, and then down to the negative. So, now for some examples with snap circuits. So here's our circuit, all wired up using snap circuits. So, as you can see the positive here, goes over to the collector of this NPN transistor and it also goes to these two switches with the resistors over to the bases of these NPN transistors and then the emitter of this transistor connects to the collector of this transistor and the emitter connects to the load here. So we begin our operation, we turn on this transistor right now. But no electricity can flow because this transistor is off. We turn them both on and the LED glows just fine. I'll shut them both off. So, now we turn on this one. And as you can see here, the LED is glowing because, as described earlier, it's going through this resistor, out the emitter, and over here to the, through the LED. And it's pretty dim, but here's both of them on. Here's on. So, it'd be hard to tell if you're using like an indicator light or something, if that's supposed to be on or this is supposed to be on. So, the solution is, so here's the solution. Just to put the LED and the resistor in the middle of the two transistors. So now, what happens is we turn the one on, current can flow from the collector to the emitter through the LED, but it can't, this transistor isn't turned on, so it can't get to the negative and the LED won't light. Same thing, if we turn on this transistor right here, the electricity can flow from the base to the emitter, back to the negative without lighting up the LED, and the light still doesn't turn on, this transistor is off. But now, if we turn both on, we have our LED shining brightly. So, thanks for watching this video, hope you learned something today, and I'll see you next time.